Step into the realm of a timeless 1971 TV series that seamlessly blends mystery, humor, and drama. Follow the crime-solving adventures of a sophisticated police commissioner and his resourceful spouse in Macmillan and Wife. This show goes beyond mere crime-solving, delivering a roller coaster of emotions with funny, surprising, and heartwarming moments. As you embark on your journey into Macmillan and Wife, be prepared for a series that skillfully intertwines laughter and suspense, creating a classic that withstands the test of time. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a particular episode? Maybe there's a scene that left a lasting impression on you? Well, brace yourself, as Macmillan and Wife has a plethora of unexpected and touching moments awaiting you. Now we want to hear from you. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience related to this beloved series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your anecdotes are just as significant as the episodes themselves, so don't hesitate to open up. Join us in celebrating the enchantment of this classic series. So, grab your popcorn, settle in, and let the Macmillan and wife journey begin. Your stories are invaluable, and we can't wait to hear them. In the 1971 TV show Macmillan and Wife, we follow the adventures of police commissioner Mac and his lively wife, Sally. It's a mystery comedy with a lighter tone, part of the Sunday mystery movie lineup, though some might not think it's the best in its category. A character worth mentioning is Sergeant in Wright, played by John Shuck. He's seen as somewhat clumsy, but always well-meaning. And Wright often predicts Mac's investigative ideas, helping to solve crimes. Interestingly, viewers seem to enjoy the quirky character and encounters with John Shuck are reported as positive experiences. People draw comparisons between Mac and Sally and the famous Nick and Nora Charles, but this is a modern take happening four decades later. The show skillfully combines their life, love, and mystery-solving adventures with Sally and their witty housekeeper, Mildred, adding a delightful touch to the story. However, the series faces some challenges, especially in how it handles Susan's and Jane's pregnancies in the storyline. The lack of focus on the characters as parents and the sudden removal of one child from the story are noted downsides. St. James leaving the show poses another challenge as the decision to have Sally and the remaining acknowledged child meet a tragic end feels somewhat forced, affecting the established love story. The introduction of Martha Ray to replace Nancy Walker is acknowledged, though some viewers express missing Walker's presence. The show's departure from reality, especially in dealing with Susan's exit and Mac quickly getting back into the dating scene, might be seen as a reflection of its tone, avoiding long emotional explorations. Looking back, some suggest the series might have reached its natural endpoint before St. James' departure. The shift from a duo to Macmillan alone seems a bit odd, and the show's quality might have declined even before these major changes happened. In essence, Macmillan and Wife is like a time capsule capturing the charm and style of a specific era. While it might not connect with today's audiences as originally intended, its unique mix of mystery, comedy, and character dynamics still has a nostalgic appeal. Rock Hudson, although he was the highest paid actor on TV during the show's run, initially had doubts about his role. He thought going from being a popular movie star to doing television was a big step down. Hudson also didn't like the scripts, thinking they weren't as good as movie scripts. However, he changed his mind later on when he realized how much people loved the show. In a funny moment with co-star Susan St. James, a year before he passed away, he joked about not trying harder when he first started. Interestingly, Angie Dickinson said no to playing Sally McMillan, so she ended up on the show Policewoman. Susan St. James got the part instead, and it added something special to the series. Even though they played a married couple on screen, Hudson and St. James had a big age difference of 21 years. The odd casting choice made the show more interesting, breaking the usual rules. Despite the age gap, the two main actors had good chemistry, making their on-screen relationship charming. The show surprised people by not following the usual expectations, creating a unique connection between the characters. Looking back, the casting choices and the lead actor's initial doubts make the success of the series even more interesting. The show, despite people doubting it at first, found its place in viewers' hearts, becoming a memorable part of TV history. Thinking about these different things makes Macmillan and Wife stand out in the world of classic television. Rock Hudson, initially hesitant about joining the TV series due to lackluster film offers, later admitted his misjudgment after watching a rerun. 
Despite his initial reservations about the series' quality, Hudson acknowledged its merit post-closure, regretting not investing more effort into it during its run. Inspired by the Thin Man film series, where a former detective and his wife take on cases, Macmillan and Wife offers a twist on this concept. The show distinguishes itself by blending humor, drama, and mystery through the adventures of police commissioner Mac and his resourceful spouse, Sally. Notably, the Macmillan residence undergoes a conspicuous change in season five, transitioning from a downtown townhouse to a standalone house without explanation. The interior, however, remains consistent, leaving viewers without a clear reason for the abrupt shift in the show's visual backdrop. In reflecting on the series, it becomes evident that the casting choices, particularly Rock Hudson's initial reluctance and the unconventional pairing with Susan St. James, added a layer of intrigue. Despite a significant age gap, the on-screen chemistry between Hudson and St. James contributes to the charm of their characters' relationship. The show's departure from conventional expectations, such as handling Susan St. James' exit and Mac quickly re-entering the dating scene, reflects its tone of avoiding prolonged emotional explorations. Some viewers argue that the series might have reached its natural endpoint before St. James' departure, suggesting a potential decline in quality even before significant changes occurred. In summary, Macmillan and Wife, despite initial doubts and unconventional choices, found its place in viewers' hearts, becoming a memorable part of TV history. The series, with its blend of mystery, comedy, and unique character dynamics, stands out as a time capsule capturing the charm and style of its era. In various episodes, Sally dons a distinctive nightgown, a genuine San Francisco 49ers jersey from the early 1970s. The jersey, adorned with a number 18, belonged to Gene Washington, a standout wide receiver for the 49ers from 1969 to 1977. Washington, a four-time pro bowler and three-time first-team All-Pro in 69, 70, and 72, intriguingly made a guest appearance in a season four episode titled Guilt by Association. McMillan and wife ingeniously adopts the Nick and Nora formula, transposing it to 1970s San Francisco. Unlike the affluent, party-going Nick and Nora Charles from Dashiell Hammett's, the thin man Mac and Sally lead a more modest life. Mac, the police commissioner, and Sally, not as affluent as Nora, delve into murder mysteries together. Their dynamic mirrors the perfect couple trope, complete with a sleek 1950s MG, a nod to classic Hollywood, albeit on a smaller scale. The show, though, faced mysterious challenges in its time slot, leading to its eventual demise. Nancy Walker, a familiar face, also played a regular role on Rhoda during the final two seasons of her stint on Macmillan and Wife. As the 1975-1976 season wrapped up, Susan St. James and Nancy Walker said goodbye to the show. St. James left because of a contract disagreement, while Walker left for a new contract with ABC. To deal with St. James' absence, the writers had her character, Sally, meet her end in a plane crash. Back in 1971, people noticed the age gap between Rock Hudson, then 46, and 25-year-old Susan St. James. Surprisingly, the audience didn't mind, as they were used to Hudson playing leading roles with younger actresses. The chemistry between the unusual pair became a key part of the show's charm. At the start of the show, Hudson had doubts about moving from movies to TV, questioning the quality of the scripts. However, he changed his mind when he saw the show's popularity. Looking back, Hudson humorously admitted to not giving his best effort in the beginning. Angie Dickinson turning down the role of Sally McMillan led to Susan St. James taking on the character, bringing a unique touch to the series. Despite initial doubts, the show became a success and secured its place in TV history. Despite some oddities like the sudden change in the McMillan residence's location in season five without explanation, viewers loved the mix of humor, drama, and mystery. In a surprising twist, Sally sometimes wore a San Francisco 49ers jersey in episodes, a real piece from the early 1970s that belonged to Gene Washington, a standout wide receiver. This subtle nod to sports history added an interesting element to the show's visuals. In summary, Macmillan and Wife, with its mix of mystery, humor, and unique character dynamics, stands out as a special snapshot of its time. The series, despite facing challenges and changes, left a lasting impression on television, going beyond expectations and becoming a memorable part of the small screen landscape.